Hello, everybody. Welcome to Carla's Bunny Trail. I'm Carla, your host. Let's see what kind of bunny trails we venture down today. Before you, I have baby Ollie. And Ollie is the ivy sculpt. And we're here for our Sunday tag of bibs, bonnets, and bows. Well, Ollie's a little boy, so we don't have bows today. But we do have our bib and our bonnets. Should we change our tag to bib, bonnets, and booties? Or keep it bibs, bonnets, and bows? I was just thinking that bows are usually for girls unless you used a bow tie on a boy. But booties could go for girls or boys. Bonnets could be girls or boys. And bibs could be girls or boys. So bibs, bonnets, and booties would be for either a boy or a girl. Well, let's show you our bib that we have. Our bib we have on today is a cream color. It has a bowl of cereal, looks like Cheerios. The bowl is blue and it has a smiley face. And you see little Cheerios floating in milk. And above it, it has seriously or serialously, <laughs> seriallessly, <laughs> cereal, C E R E A L, because there's cereal in the bowl. And in, then underneath it, it says handsome. So, seriously handsome. And that he is. And his bonnet that he has on today is a teddy bear bonnet and the boys really love to share this bonnet it is brown and it has little teddy bear ears on it they fight over this one we don't have too many boy bonnets i have crocheted some bonnets but every time i put them on there the only ones that look like they would work for boys are the pixie bonnets that i make and i've not made any in a very long time so I'm gonna have to make some because my boy collection is growing we have Georgie we have Joey we now have Maddie Jack we have the new Isaac Alexander we've got Ollie here and then we have oh we have Josiah we have the baby Matthew, and then the new baby, who does not have a name yet, and baby Elijah. So that's what, nine boys. Wow, we really jumped to a big number of boys lately. We don't, we haven't, I always tended to lean towards the girls and then it's funny how your collection changes all the time. You know, when I first started, I thought I enjoyed the bigger and I did, I, you know, my first baby was the Joseph Awake sculpt. The, is he, is he six month or three month? I can't remember, but anyway, um, he was the very first reborn I'd bought. So you just didn't know. But at that point in time, I realized I still have him. He's our Georgie. Um, but at that point in time, I realized I, because two weeks later, I got my um, April sculpt. And I realized that that was the size, which is about newborn to zero to three month clothes. Uh, the April is that I really enjoyed that. And then it wasn't too long after that I enjoyed, I've been doing, I guess I've been in this hobby for three and a half years, maybe four, going close to four years now. But after that, I I thought, I, I well, I did. I changed and kind of went towards more of the six to nine month. And uh, those are my toddlers, you know. And here lately, I've really been favoring the... Um, zero to three and three six three to six months even though for christmas my big girl she is like 12 months she's a big girl hers heavy too but anyway not to take away from ollie and his time in the light it's his start on today 
for Sunday. Bibs, bonnets, and the question is, should it be booties? I think so. Bibs, bonnets, and booties. I've got to quit changing it or people aren't going to want to do it. <laughs> and if it is booties, what booties am I going to put on this little man? I didn't get him any out, but these would work. We could put these booties that I made right here on you, sweetheart. I made these several years back. And they are mustard color. We can just slip those right on him. Which means I will have to make some booties now because I don't have um, very many booties. I kind of get frustrated with the booties a lot. Uh, but I haven't crocheted them in a while and I'm really good at the bonnets. Uh, getting better with the bonnets anyway. Okay, there we go, baby. There we go, little Ollie Ollie Osborne. Yeah. And here's your car back. He's been playing with his car. And he's been playing with his frog. And he even has his bottle here just in case. Well, what's that in the background? Right here. Oh, I just don't know. Maybe we'll check that out in the next video. Until next time, thank you for tuning in and joining us and taking a little time out of your Sunday morning to spend it with us. God bless you all and shalom.